YouTube Above Average Cody here, and we have some very big news on the not-so-distant future of Halo Infinite. That's right, right when you think Season 5 release could not have gone any better, guys, we have some very important words from the man himself, Unishek, over with 343. And guys, if you have ever had a gripe with the servers on this game, you are going to want to listen up to this first part. Now, there are some other very big things I want to talk about after this, but the what he touched upon with the networking side of things is very big. And I will put it on screen, but I'm going to read it word for word just to make sure I don't miss anything. Um... He said on Twitter, we touched on it during Spartan Chatter earlier this year, but wanted to speak to it again since it's coming up as a common common topic after Season 5's launch, which I'm sure is because the game's nearly perfect outside of the servers, basically. Previously, our focus was on improving the existing system bit by bit. However, we recognized that this was not having the impact that we wanted and you expected, so we decided to pursue fundamental changes to the underlying network model. Since this decision was made, the team has been heads down on a more comprehensive overhaul. An endeavor of this scale takes time, which is why we haven't had many updates to share. Very important line there, guys. Significant work has been done here already, with more still underway. We'll share more when it gets closer to a public testing phase. Now, guys, they've been saying it for a really, really long time. Every single season, server improvements are coming. Stability improvements are coming. Stability changes are coming. And it seems like nothing really happened. They changed melees a little bit. They changed the way certain maps play a little bit. They changed even playing local and expanded, right? But none of it was true server improvements, and everybody has said it since the beginning. This game could come back with good servers, right? So, a lot of things I want to talk about is, first off, something I have been saying since the beginning, guys. They can't fix it. They can't fix it. If they could fix it, they would have, dude. They're, they're like a mil billion dollar company. They have all the help in the world from Microsoft. They should be able to fix this, right? They can't. Well, not that they can't, but they realize bit by bit probably wasn't the most efficient um, fixing the existing system. So the fact is they are doing a complete um, change to the fundamental uh, groundwork of the networking model, which is really big. And obviously, guys, I'm using these technical terms that are in the post. I don't truly know what's going on behind the scenes, but I have enough of a head on me to know that the line where they said an endeavor like this takes time, which is why we haven't had many updates to share, which means they made this decision quite a while back and they have been working on it for quite some time and the fact that they are talking about it makes me wonder how close it could possibly be for us halo infinite players guys um i don't need to tell you how big of a deal it would be if they were to make a big overhaul and severely fix the servers because anybody that's played halo infinite for more than an hour knows how big of a deal this would be but um they could have just gone throughout all of season five guys and not said a single word a single word and nobody would have bat an eye they'd be like halo infinite servers are bad man that's all it is and we would just keep playing the game like we have been for the over a year it's been out but the fact that they're taking the time to say this tell us what's going on and oddly enough sound pretty optimistic about it saying words like closer and significant work has been done already those are positive words, very good words, and this is a very, very big deal. And although he touches upon some other Season 5 aspects and things coming very soon, the fact that he was willing to put a paragraph about the networks and the servers right at the top of the post, it, it's great. It's great. I, I think there's every reason to be optimistic. I don't even feel like I'm on the wrong side of the optimistic fence here. I'm very excited. It's very big. That is probably the biggest news. And then, guys, in this post, there is a few other things that he goes over. I'm not going to read it word for word. It's just too much, so I'm going to just touch upon it very briefly. Next bullet is about the custom game browser, basically talking about uh, load times. A lot of people were having issues joining, getting booted from matches they were trying to join. And basically, they're reading all the feedback. There's going to be improvements very soon, and so on and so forth. And they do touch upon the, the cross-core helmets and what is coming next. They will be working on shoulders next, and then they're working on making um, the rest, if not all, of the armor coatings um, work on every single core. Um, you guys may feel like most of them are already on every core. That's because I believe Season 3, when they first put in the cross-coatings, 
all codings after that time were cross-core, but all the old ones still are not. So they would be working on making all of them cross-core, not just all of the new ones. Um, and then on top of this, guys, one very, very important aspect. Bandos, you're going to love this one. The HCS team bundles, bundles from Season 1 are still planned to be updated so that individual items from them can be equipped. So, your awesome Envy skin, which I am an owner of, but you can't use it because it's only the default skin that was on it because it is a weapon kit to put the Envy skin on. It's not like all the HCS skins after that where you can customize them, put whatever... Um, chest, shoulders, whatever you want on them, and then use the coding, you can't do that. But they're going to make that happen, which is going to be awesome. Catch me running the Envy skin with some actual custom armor. Um, and it's going to be dope because only so many people have the Envy skin because you can't get it anymore because Envy Optic... You guys know the drill. It's been long enough. Um, so that's pretty big news. I'm really excited about that. Um, stability and enhanced crash reporting. Um, they're going to... Uh, be including more ways to report crashes and help detect when and why crashes happen. Um, although this probably won't change the amount of crashes, this could give them better feedback on why it's happening so that they can fix it faster rather than us going for weeks being like, why am I crashing out of 5 to 10 games a week? Um, so that's good on... Again, that won't be a big change for us, but that'll help them help us, really. Um, and then the mid-season update, guys. They made it very clear that a mid-season update will be bringing Firefight King of the Hill, the repair field, and they also mentioned bug fixes, stability improvements, and more. Um, I'm hoping the and more leads to adjustments on the new map. I just put a poll up on the channel about the new map. We're going to have a video discussing um, extraction uh, pretty soon here, talking about what people are thinking about the mode, how people are feeling, because I've been seeing a lot of extreme opinions on it. Um, so I'm hoping that's included with it. But again, King of the Hill is confirmed coming as a playlist mid-season. That is not very far away, guys. And on top of that, um, so they do mention Halo support, all that stuff, follow that. Um, shout out Unishek for putting out a post like this at a time where hype is peak, guys. Again, hype is peak. They could just keep their mouth shut, let everybody keep playing the game, and that's it. Everybody's having a great time. 343's making money. We're having fun. It's all good. But no, they're coming out, and they're really hammering it home. We have a huge event coming as soon as November 7th, I believe, with the Halo 3 playlist. Uh, we got a lot of dope stuff coming to Halo Infinite, guys, content-wise. So to know that there's changes coming to the servers, they're working on furthering things that they kind of only started scratching the surface of, which, again, being cross-customization for the cores. Um, this is all fantastic news, man. Fantastic news. And, I mean, you guys saw how happy I was uh, post-Season 5 release. Feels like the game can't get any better. So the fact that they are really just pouring on the good news, the good stuff that we want to hear. Oh, man, dude, this game is in a great place. And if you haven't already seen it, guys, there are so many content creators, COD pros playing this game right now. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy. I don't even think I'm overly happy. I've been having a blast on the game. I've been enjoying it. The community on the channel here seems to be enjoying it. And just this is so awesome to see where this game has come, guys. And that's where I'm going to leave you off. I am just rambling now about how great Halo Infinite is, which, guys, I never thought I'd see the day. But anyways, guys, subscribe to the channel. Tons of Halo content. Stream it five days a week. We're going to be doing a midnight release stream of Modern Warfare 3. A lot of fun here, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. Share all of your thoughts on everything i mentioned in the video really or where you think halo infinite is headed guys and then finally channel membership super thanks you like support monetarily it helps you out a lot as a content creator but please do not feel like you have to but alrighty, guys thank you so much for watching let me know if you're hyped for all this stay happy stay healthy and stay tuned for the next video